and to the grief. They gathered for a final send-off. It was here they remembered a girl, still learning to live before she died. Emptiness and memories would take the place of me and I thought of you and when I did, my heart was, was filled with sorrow. But when I walked through the heavens gate, I felt so much at home when God looked down and smiled at me from his, his. I felt so much at home when God looked down and smiled at me from his great golden throne. He said, this is eternity. And, and all I've promised you. And I'd like to say thank you to everybody for the support that we have. I've never seen anybody pull together like this, and if it wasn't for you, I know we wouldn't have found Jasmine. Jasmine was an awesome child and loving, and I'd love, she would love to have seen all the color in the church today. She was a child of fun and color. Thank you. The grandfather, a preacher, called for calm. Where I'm at, I choose to forgive this man. And I'm telling you now, it's hard, guys, but for as a leader, as a father, as a parent, I need to teach my kids right. And I, I just wish and say this, you never know who you can trust. This was a brother. Jasmine was found murdered on the 28th of December. Her body was shoved under a bed by the alleged perpetrator. The alleged rapist is understood to be Jasmine's father's half-brother. He has been remanded in custody and will appear in court next Monday. Stefina Komane, SABC News, Brackpen.